can't leave you alone for one minute. Oh yeah, get it off your chest in this thread, in case you didn't know the drill. It better have happened lol praise. Got a study man, I always break down and get lazy. When I back to it that's it the rest of my life is over. Only studying. There's a real C asterisk at my workplace who sucks at her job and will S asterisk talk and bully those who don't speak up to her it's driving me nuts because the management team is PSI vis F about it and are essentially sticking their head in the ground to avoid confrontation how do you F asterisk and call someone out on the bullshit without getting too tangled in the effing S that comes with it. I deserve to cut off her feet. Why do you deserve it? He doesn't. He's just a sicko f asterisk who come to these threads to vomit his stupid bullshit. Yes I do. Nothing will ever change my mind. Not s asterisk it is blowing up for Albari. Der Shelly er. Washed up coke w asterisk wants attention wants a plane ticket out. Ireland. Ah yes zero. I want to make this guy's wife see asterisk. He never made her see asterisk once nada. Zero. Zero LMAO me making her see asterisk would lead to his suicide. Quote be man. Be born with a nice face. Been in good shape. Basically my whole life. Am smart. Made effort to cultivate other attractive qualities. I.e. staying educated. Nurturing my talent for the arts. Empathy. Lightness. Cleaning. S asterisk. Ertiveness. Etc. Discovered over the course of my life. This means I have an obligation to date. I don't particularly care to. Am looked down on for not doing so seriously. What's in it for me? Sex. If you are fine without it or are comfortable with hookers, gigolos, or us all a favor and don't date. Quote, sex tried it. Absolutely hated it. Now please stop bothering me. Goddamn, I'm betting my effing as you don't live nearby we're all doubled up with love. I wish you women were easier. I'd give my kingdom for the true love of a woman. Do to me what you may, I'd sacrifice. Nothing, f asterisk those f asterisk s who give in to carnal desires. Basic b asterisk s. I try to get that ultimate resolution every day and it never works. I just have to sacrifice more as much as possible actually. I lost my virginity a month ago today but I have no love for the girl at all. She annoys me a lot, lazy, moody, and she has a seriously deep friendship with coke. I liked the idea of being with someone with a lot of issues but now that I'm I wish I'd never got involved with her at all. I want to be the good and direct person who makes that clear but I can't handle any form of confrontation so I've taken my sim out of my personal phone and just use my work one and avoid being downstairs as much as I can and I'm hoping she'll get annoyed and move on to someone else. I'm not sure if you're the monster or her, maybe you both. Quote, I want to be the good and direct person who makes that clear, but I can't handle any form of confrontation. So I've taken my sim out of my personal phone, you're not a good person. As long as you cannot deal with confrontation and resort to being a coward and ghosting people you have used, you never will be a good person. I want to be if I want to get married. Okay, where do you live? Goddamn, I'm betting my effing as you don't live nearby we're all doubled up with love. I wish you women were easier, I'd give my kingdom for the true love of a woman. Do to me what you may, I'd sacrifice. Okay here's how you get a BF as a woman or gay man you listening. Quote, literally just exist congrats. Name your first kid after me. I know a gay man and he has trouble finding dudes who aren't just out to get the d asterisk s psyched. It ain't all roses for all of them. He's lucky every gay dude I meet wants to get married like immediately after meeting each other. It's f asterisk in creepy. I either need to focus for longer or get more done faster. The two things I'm worst at. Quote, wake up till the 7 a.m. F asterisk, around all day, start to be productive around 6 p.m. Want to go to bed by 9, why do I do this? Yup, this is me. I can't be productive until the sun goes down. My girlfriend won't leave me alone but then gets mad when I watch stuff that makes her angry. 
Like now I was watching Happy and it's pretty off color and she just started getting all pussy and him just like. Then effing go away and do your own s let me f asterisking enjoy myself. Damn for some reason I don't trust you now. Maybe it's what this s asterisk Cole posted. Maybe it's cause you've hinted that you're really good at acting and lying. Are you acting and lying to me? IDK, I wish I knew for sure. I wish I was comfy and not scared enough to kill myself I've been thinking it would be perfect after coming down from a great trip I've had the mindset before I'm so pissed at myself for losing it. Really hard not to make suicide jokes when talking to my therapist. Quote when you make plausibly deniable references to things resembling suicide. Where the hell are you? Please I'm calling. Save me. Tomorrow I'm going to focus way harder. I have to stop putting the wrong things first. We're gonna make it aren't we anon? Too late. Every time I take DXM the come down is amazing. It's like this feeling like the whole world had stopped I wish it did. Kek I'm actually suicidal because tolerance removed my DXM after glows I don't think I have or ever will feel that at peace I came to rely on them a lot preserve the magic as well as you can friendo. Nobody knows the troubles I've seen and asterisk OD knows the level of self control to not let the demons be same thing again huh. I really would just like to meet a girl who would hold me when I'm sad but it would also be nice if I wouldn't hide feeling sad out of habit either. It wouldn't solve all my problems but the comp would make a huge difference. You won't climb my walls if you're walking away from them. Thing is I always let him down just to watch a walk away. I expect it now, that or that I let the walls down to get stabbed in the heart the fickle these walls. I let him down but the slightest wrong vibe and I won't let him down for you ever again. I worry that's the case now what did you just do? What more fun still, I let the walls down and the person I did it for brings someone else in to stab me in the heart while they smile, which are you. Cause my belief that any other option exists feels stupid now. Did you make a fool of me? Why do they have to climb them? They didn't build them. Here's a you. God you sound exhausting, stop being such a pathetic be asterisk and get over yourself. Everyone has problems, that's my two cents. Here's a you. You sound self-centered as f asterisk. Here's a you. I hate people who try to diminish what you're going through. I had a coworker with fibromyalgia and I would say something offhand like oh my knee hurts a bit and she would with her toothless gummy mouth blurt out in a nasty southern accent you don't hurt as much as me you yeah, know what? No s asterisk, I get you're in a greater pain and I'm in pain too. It's not as much as yours but it's still there. S asterisk can always be worse and sometimes all you can do is suck it up but Jesus Christ let a person f asterisk and get it off their chest. Fuck F asterisk 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 stupid are F asterisk F asterisk F asterisk if I did not have a child it consider ending it all. Ugh she's a hoe crazy how even the most normal looking girls have a F asterisk load of sexual past skeptical smiley face. That's exactly why they have it. Thoughts you ironically can't f asterisk. It is a sad realization. Boyfriend is too immature and I don't want to spend my life with him but I think he does. I like him and want to enjoy our time and then we will probably fight over some dumb s asterisk he does again and I'll decide to leave at that time. I don't care if it ends then, just want to be together for now. A lot of conflicting information. A glimpse into my brain and heart skeptical smiley face. Why don't I just hug you? Not really interested in interfering with your relationship. Just to ease the pain. I'll tell you I could use a hug. I mean my boyfriend hugs me. He's bought a bad boyfriend just his personality is not really suitable for the long term commitment that he wants. 
Yeah, we can get married and enjoy time together but I can't imagine many years of this. Maybe my ex is still in my heart or why I'm not ready or why I'm just not into settling down. I don't really know but I imagined it with my ex and now it feels like just something people do to feel like an adult get married. Hope you get your hug though. People can change not everyone but some people can. You seem to have hope in him so don't lose that. Legitimately I just want to give you the world. You won't let me though. You're so scared of intimacy. Why? I am really losing my patience with my husband but I don't want to leave him whatsoever. My intent is to just get him off his s asterisk. For the majority of our relationship he hasn't been employed and I don't mind because I make so much money and am a very high earner. That being said I don't feel he's fulfilling his part of the deal. He is supposed to do the housework, cook, and clean. He also needs to help me as a personal s asterisk instant of sorts. He started slacking on these things, and I've had to do way more cleaning than I think is fair since I bring it all the money. Lately, he's been complaining about doing the s asterisk instant tasks, and the house is a absolute mess. I have to do everything myself if I want it done right, and I also am tired of carrying the mental load. I shouldn't have to come up with a list of things for him to do like he is a child. He should be able to just look around and manage everything without my constant guidance. If the house is dirty, clean it. If something needs to be done, do it. Don't sit there like a puppy and ask me what to do. Pretty yourself, figure it out. I married you because you are intelligent and I expect you to act like it. This has been building up for a long time. I told him in January that I wanted him to start seeking certificates and gain some freelance job experience and I meant it. He's starting to use the corona thing as an excuse and I'm very frustrated. Yesterday he complained about an assignment he needed to do for me as a normal assistant task. I am not giving an inch. Not one inch. I will fight over this because the alternative is to watch the relationship erode and feel resentment and disgust for him. I do not want this outcome so I will fight harder because I do love him. I need to come up with a strategy regardless. Coming out and telling him this outright would ruin his self-esteem and hurt our relationship. Instead I will love him yet firm.